Hey everybody, it's Michael with Bay Area Hiking Guides giving you that information, that knowledge to go out there and hike with confidence. And in this video, we're going to be talking about real big, exciting news that I got going on for uh, myself and as well for the channel. Alright, well let's go ahead and break it down. Okay, well welcome to the channel. I do a lot of videos based in the Bay Area. We do a lot of stuff in the East Bay, but uh, we also do stuff around the Bay. And we got all kinds of cool, interesting stuff from, you know, a lot of features that a lot of people miss. From trees, to wildflowers, to some real knowledgeable people that I have that come on the channel. Like Beth and Tyler and a few other folks. Uh, to kind of teach us about uh, nature and some of the stuff that we uh, tend to miss. I'm also going to just kind of hold a moment here with everything that's going on with uh, the Floyd case, uh, the protests and the rioting and all that stuff. I don't know what it's like to be an African American and live in America in, and to live anywhere in the world because, you know, with all this discrimination that goes on. But it's so hard to, it's so easy for people to get into uh, a mindset of having all the answers or thinking that they know everything that's going on from an outside perspective when they're not the ones that are uh, going through the discrimination and then give out their viewpoints or think what needs to be resolved or anything. So uh, we are such a, we are at a point right now with everything going on with the COVID-19 and everything going on with these movements and protests that we really, really need to be spending a lot of time listening and, and understanding what it's like to be in those shoes. Hold space for those that need to be heard and allow them to be heard. Stuff that need to be done for sure. And black lives, they definitely do matter. 100%. So, big news for me is that I'm going to be moving. Whoa, slow down. Where the hell are you going, right? Um, I'm actually going to be moving more towards the uh, northern side. The northeastern side. We're talking more to the Concord, Clayton area. And I'm going to be exploring over there a lot more often. A lot of the stuff that I've been doing, a lot of the videos that I've been making have been primarily in the uh, near the town of Danville, uh, San Ramon, Alamo, uh, and then parts of the southern section of Mount Diablo. But now I'm going to be over in a whole other area. So we're going to be getting a lot more uh, different footage. Um, I love the northern side of Mount Diablo. Di different uh, types of flora, different types of life that happen on the north side. It's kind of got uh, some Sierra look to it a little bit. Really good for training. And there's some awesome stuff that takes place um, in the fall. Mitchell Canyon's really gorgeous in the fall. So I can really direct my attention in that area a ton. Um, Round Valley, I've got so much to learn from Round Valley. Just exploring there. And then also going uh, up into the Black Diamond Mines area. I ran into an Oracle Oak. So I'm going to talk about that. That'll give me some opportunity to do that. It's a lot of really cool stuff that we can uh, start talking about. And I can start doing footage within that area. And you get deeper into it. You guys can really see some cool looking videos. Um, I've done a few videos on the top. Kind of with like the summit behind me. And that whole northern side is amazing. A lot of people don't understand that. Um, Mount Diablo has four faces. And all faces are drastically different. The western face is different. Than the south face. The south face. The north face. The east face. are All different faces. But they all come together as one. I can learn a lot from that. Getting that all settled, and then I'm also making a large transaction with trans, try, making a transaction, Bill. Uh, transition with my job, getting everything under under wraps, uh, shifting my hours from one client to another. So, uh, been doing that, and that's been uh, it's been, you know, uh, great learning experience. That being said, you like my hat? I look like the scarecrow. I why people are running away from me when I'm on the trail. Also, uh, Beth has discussed to me about a particular flower. I'm not going to mention what one it is, but there's a flower that um, she found to be really intriguing. Um, and it's one of her favorite flowers, but this one has a different color. So we'll probably do what we can to find it, and then I'll cover it. But I don't want to give away the location or anything of that matter, because um, we want to keep it kind of you know, low profile as best as possible. But uh, this flower is really cool and it grows a lot more in the, the southern sections of California. I don't want to give away too much, um, but uh, that's going to be coming up soon. Hopefully we can find it. I want to get that video. That would be awesome. Awesome blossom. It's just been, uh, it's been crazy with this move, uh, getting things situated so we can go ahead and do it. We've been planning this for years 
and I mean years. My wife is super stoked. She tells everybody at the grocery store that we're moving, the mailman, anybody that anything that moves. <laughs> She's so happy. But the, the place is really cool. It's a nice little apartment. And uh, they've got um, a dog park there. They seem to be really friendly over there. I'm going to do my part to uh, continue these videos going. We're, we're pretty much hit 500 subs. I want to do a video all oh, by itself for that to, to, to thank everybody for, for all the subs. And plus, I, I wanted to wait for it to go over 500 so I don't like make the video and it drops down or four or something. It's like, oh, you only have 496 or something. Um, so it's at 500 right now, so we'll just keep an eye on it, and then I'll, I'll, I'll make the video for that. Uh, God, it blows me away that I'm even at 500. So also, I wanted to take a little special thank you to somebody um, in particular. You might know who you are, and you might not. I want to say thank you so much to Tyler. He's just so amazing. Um, he's on this channel occasionally, Tyler Phelps, and he's just does so much for this channel already he's been in a few videos such an educational dude you don't know who tyler is we've got lots of videos where he's in he talks a lot about the the oak galls and and um a lot of the other cool stuff that's going on within our uh, whole bay area we got going on here a real informative dude um and i just wanted to really put out my thanks there to to him um and and all the effort that he's put in for the channel even if it's a, a small moment of his time it means a whole lot to me he's such an avid fan he's always watching my videos keeping up on them his wife as well lisa has been a really big support really big support of the channel she's always watching the the stuff on the channel um which i really appreciate and uh, he sent me a birthday present i you know the plants of the east bay parks now he i think he got this on amazon just a phenomenal, phenomenal book. Very good for the uh, amateur kind of plant enthusiast uh, as well as, you know, you can kind of direct into experts as well. But this is a really cool book. It goes into more of a basic detail of the plants. Uh, they get some nice plant keys on here. And then, of course, they, I, I scroll through with my thumb, just, you know, pick a page, you know, randomly. And the first page that comes up when I got this book was the California Black Oaks, the California Calagii. So I was really <laughs> just was like, yeah, this definitely was uh, meant to be sent to me. And he got this uh, used, and, and I really like the fact that it's used. I like the fact that it's got some wear and tear in it. You can definitely tell it's been on the field. There's, there's even some leaves in here that are in the book, which is really cool. I was like, hey, oh, one fell out. I was like, this is, this is super awesome. Um, so thank you so much, Tyler. Beth was telling me, I looked this guy up, is Glenn Keeter, Ph.D., and he d teaches classes classes in make, uh, Lake Merritt. I don't know if he still is. Uh, the guy's like 87 years old. And he's wrote a few books. Um, so now I've got to dig into that. I'm like, <laughs> you know, it's like I'm like constantly in this, like reading the stuff that he's, he really did a great job, Mr. Keeter. Um, and Beth has actually met the guy a few times, but... Um, or once or twice on a, on a hike. Oh yeah. Plus it's got Mariposa lilies on there, Beth. You know, gotta have those. And some, of course, some oaks in the background and then Mount Diablo and a butterfly. Cool stuff. Uh, Beth was talking to me the other day in the kitchen. So Beth had come up to me and she said, hey, um, my friend posted something on Facebook. We're not sure um, what this plant is. Yeah, the fruit looks like something from a bay tree, but then again, what would a bay be doing climbing through underneath this plant it's you know there was a lot of interesting things but you never really know when you see a picture of a plant or someone's trying to ask what it is it can be difficult to identify just in general especially when it's just a bunch of leaves and, you know she said well what's a person's name that's uh that had the things she told me her name i look it up on facebook and uh she was trying to figure out what it was beth was and, and this other lady that took the photo beth knows way more in plants and wildflowers and just everything to do with plants way more than i do so i took a gander at it and i'm like looks like a wild rose beth like looks back at it and she's like oh my gosh you're right so to really boil down to the fact that i uh, schooled beth that's right i'm gonna remember that for my life because it's very rare that ever happens. I gave that out to Tyler because Tyler did that video about wild roses. So I had that stuff in my head um, as I was going through editing and over and over and over and over. Um, and I remember, hey, it's a wild rose. 
Um, so I was, I looked at the fruit and I'm like, well, roses have that, that fruit down below it that, that grows. And it was like all thanks to Tyler doing that video. And I'm like, yeah, thank you, Tyler. That's right. I'm trained. Um, so thank you so much, Tyler, for the book. I really appreciate it. I cannot wait to continue to just take this book and take this book out with me on, uh, field, uh, field excursions. Uh, Plants of the East Bay by Glenn Keeter. Great book. Uh, Guy's got a PhD. Man, oh man. Awesome, awesome stuff. I mean, there's stuff in here I didn't even know existed. But um, real cool stuff. And then you can just go and, you know, look it up. And that's how you, that's how you learn all this stuff. To just go and you, you look stuff up and you you, you uh, key it or you do it. And that's how you learn all the stuff. And it just, you know, continues to develop. So an old friend of mine one time asked me, he's like, how do you know all this? Like... Well, it, not only did I go to DVC to Alba Valley College, ding! Interesting things that have recently happened with me on the trail, uh, interactions just with people in general. Uh, it, it's so funny because I, I go out and I do video and I'm taking pictures, you know, and, and clearly I've, I've, I've got a mindset of a focus, but people see it from an outside perspective and I've had so many people come to me and say, oh, are you a birder? Are you taking, you know, you're taking pictures of birds? I'm like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not a birder. Um, I like birds, that is not something I'm generally into. Um, but a lot of people ask me that all the time. Interacted with a particular uh, younger lady, um, and she was, she came up to me and she was like, Oh, are you a birder? And I said, No, no, I'm not, I'm not a birder. I'm taking photos of these, tr the oak trees. It's just fan fantastic that we have these, um, wonderful oak trees. And I kind of went through a, a little brief discussion of, of my love and how, how impacting of the oak trees are. And, you know, we get done with the conversation and the, the girl comes back to she says, um, well, enjoy, enjoy taking, enjoy your birding. God, that just did not go through, did it? Gotta work on my delivery. I had another interaction with a guy the other day, actually, as a matter of fact. Um, I was zooming into a tree, an oak tree and happened to be, uh, Corgus Kalagii, and I'm, I'm zooming in, and I'm, I'm more focused on uh, the, the lichen, and um, just really getting into detail of the lichen, and these little, little details that so many people miss, and we, I was videotaping this, and this guy's walking by, and he passes by, and he stops. What are you taking photos of? I'm taking photos of uh, the lichen, and he goes, what is that? Well, you see, there's so many lichen within the world that we have today, and this particular lichen, and the guy just, oh, okay, cool. I don't know what it is, but uh, I was like, oh, well, you know, it's gotta be my delivery. I'm putting people to sleep or something. Bueller, Bueller. Thank you guys so much, appreciate it. You guys all have a wonderful day. Uh, it's really been an honor to have all you subs uh, checking out the videos, all the views that I'm getting. It's just really, really grateful to have all you guys checking me out. Uh, means a lot to me and it means a lot to all the other Bay Area hiking guys we got there making those videos because it uh, definitely uh, gets me right here. All right. Well. Okay. That's right. I got some oaks to check out. Hello, Lenny. So for, you know, an amateur dude to come in there and kind of, that is, you never know. <laughs> Lenny, you're making too much noise. Lenny, it's a box, Lenny. That's it. So, Lenny, you're killing me here, cat. There we go, Lenny. Whoa! <laughs> it's a wild one. <laughs> Lenny, I'm... So I took a gander at the thing and, um... <laughs> That's Lori. That's Lori. That's Lori. Wow. Lori's interesting. God, look at this oven, man. God, when was this made? Oh! Maybe 70s, 80s, possibly. I think I had one of these when I was a kid. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. You think I know better now, you know, after doing this channel for over two years that I 
not eat before doing a video, but apparently not. What a rook.